You guys, welcome back to the Florida Keys and another RV today's task. We are actually going to be changing that air conditioner that has been the bane of my existence since we got on the road. It has reached temperatures now where it is 80 plus and the sun is out. For the first two weeks we've been here, the temperatures weren't bad and the sun was kind of always blocked. It was really cloudy, but now it's not. And uh, it's getting hot in there and the sun just reflects these and they're insulated. Okay, but not good enough. So it's time to lift this guy up there and get rid of my piece together RV air conditioner. How we're gonna go about doing this, I'm not sure because we do not have a ladder. I have a ladder in the back of the RV that's stuck to it. But as you can see, that ladder is not very easy to work around. The bike rack's in the way. I don't want to take the bike rack off. We can, but this ladder is also not meant for a lot of weight and maneuverability. And at 13 and a half feet in the air, we have to be able to get that 100 pound package up there. Ideally, we'll keep it in the box until it's up on the roof because whatever's underneath it, I don't want sharp edges cutting our roof material. It's a membrane. If it cuts, it's not easy to repair. It's not a guaranteed repair and it can leak and most likely will leak. So what we're gonna do is use the bed of Frank to get us this far up into the air. Put James's ladder up on here and the air conditioner up here so it's halfway to the height. And then I think we can feed it up that. I think that'll work. That's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. We'll see if it works. I mean, that's, that pinched out hard. That shit bad. Yeesh. It's kind of throbbing a little bit. Yeah, I bet. That's why I always wear gloves. so bad it wasn't so easy but it wasn't so bad now we've got both up here it is time to start pulling this guy i'm not sure all of it that goes through this the instructions that come with it are actually for a top mount just like this is but a venting directly underneath so a direct vent and ours actually has ducting in it so a lot of the instructions don't pertain to our mounting system I'm not sure how it's going to work but i think we can just tear this guy apart and memorize where everything went Put that guy back. All right, safety tip, turn off AC number two. You get out of here, dog. Turn off AC number two. It actually is still off from when we worked on it last, but I definitely wanted to verify.
old one is removed. This is the brains that's in it's in your existing one. So there's another one in there too, but so we didn't have to undo all the wires right now. We just pulled the box off and we'll get into this guy and put it back. But we want to touch up some of this. This has been buggered up. I don't know if that was from our damage or what, but we want to seal this off because this is the venting. This is attic space. And we don't want air going in there. That's wasted energy and we'll lose our cooling. Right, I'm going to take some of the debris down with me. Sorry, buddy. Maybe I'll mail this to uh, Little America. See if they want it back. more ugly air conditioner. Another essential tool is some duct tape or I prefer Gorilla Tape. But just a side note, this cannot handle negative temperatures. It will separate. So hopefully this one's still good now that it's warm again. crazy on this because that part doesn't come in the new one. The new one is blank and we just have to mount it into it. It does come with the screw so it's really just a plug and play on that part and then we should be good. That's, man, when you're tearing something off even if it's damaged or destroyed, try to take it by piece by piece so you can salvage or follow what's there. Best recommendation I can give you. with the new part number. These are feet that kind of sit there and hold. This is what bonds this and then it holds it to the ground. So we gotta go back. A good little ways to find the Let's get this guy mounted up and then we can shift it around, I think. Got those leg nuts? Yeah, I do. So now we can connect our wire. And the only thing we disconnected was just that plug-in area. And then we'll bolt that back on. Is 
So this is gonna be air intake. The hot air is gonna come up through here and then it comes through these coils which cool it down and then it blows back down. That's why this is so surrounded. This styrofoam is intentional and keeps that cold air cold and pushes it back down into the ducting. That's why there was two holes on our roof. Now that we're putting on the feet, you definitely need to keep in mind to just start the screws, not cinch them down, because you've got to line up three screws that aren't lining up very well. Just gonna go down and flip the breaker back on and this guy should be ready to fire up. I definitely want to be right next to it when it turns on just in case something sounds weird or feels weird. We'll just see what it does. Oh man, she fired right on and it's running nice and smooth. Feels good. I think we've got it cinched down as tight as it needs to be. The gasket feels good. It's just a teeny little gasket down there, but there's a fine balance between getting that gasket to sit and seat really well, but then also stripping these bolts, because once they're stripped, I'm in trouble. So I think we've got it at a good spot. All right, one of the keys to making that AC last and really stand the test of time, because they're built really well other than when you crunch them, um, is to do routine maintenance. One of the routine maintenance you can do is to clean your filters. If that machine has to work extra hard to pull air up, this is air intake, these little ones are air exhaust. If you don't clean your return airs, just like your furnace at your house, you're making that machine work harder than it should. So. Since we're working on the AC today, we're going to take a minute and just clean these out and put some new clean filter in. This is what the foam is supposed to look like. This is what it looks like. Now, given the trailer has only been to really two locations and the one location it goes to has been to twice is filthy dirty so clearly we're not getting as much air intake as we could so we're going to help them out by changing these filters and instead of just washing and cleaning it which we can't do we're actually just going to replace it with material new material It's holding. Yeah, I like to have that on. That's a good sign. It holds. I should wipe that guy down. Let's wipe. Take a minute. Wipe these down. Well, the fact that it's suctioning up there tells me we've got good pull from the AC, so our return air is working very well. Just set our grate right back up. There we go. 
this air conditioner has been running for the past five days and it has ran like a champ since. It's actually to the point where we've had to turn the fan motors down to low because it is cooling the trailer so much. It works a lot more efficiently and the trailer cools faster. It just shut off right now because the trailer has cooled the temperature. So that works great. So if you are in the RV world and are needing to replace it, uh, which is the case for a lot of people. I've had a dozen people in the RV park come and ask me, hey, how hard was it? Is it something anybody can do? It is something you can do. It's not that difficult. You just need two people because it is a big piece of machinery that's awkward and you don't want to damage your rooftop of your RV. So if you like today's task, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And until then, we'll see you next time.